you're looking for a quick and easy way to extract these keywords from YouTube's search suggestion box right here, this video is for you. What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is Dennis from Botster and in this quick video I'm going to show you how to do exactly that, which is extracting these search suggestion keywords into a CSV or Excel file quickly and painlessly, no coding required. To achieve this, we will be using our YouTube keyword search suggestion scraper and although this bot is really straightforward to use, there are a couple of things you need to know about how to use it properly. To understand the basic principles, you can read the description here or you can continue watching this video and I'll show and explain to you how to do this. After clicking the start bot button, you'll see a form with a whole bunch of options to choose from. Let's go ahead and fill this form out step by step. So first, real simple, let's pick a name for our job, YouTube scrape test. Next, we need to select the region from which we will be performing the search. So I'll go with United States. Language, we'll pick English. And now the most interesting part. So we need to pick the search methods, append white space and grab suggested, append white space and letters from A to Z, append Y space and numbers zero to nine. Now, what the heck does this mean? So what does append white space and grab suggested mean? It means that if my keyword is digital marketing and I type it out and I append the white space, YouTube will present me with a whole bunch of keywords, which I will then grab. If I append a white space and start appending letters A to Z, YouTube's search algorithm will start presenting me with a whole bunch of new keywords. So A, B, C, and you can see that the keywords are changing every time there's a new letter typed by me. So if you pick that option, this is exactly what's going to happen. The bot will go through the whole alphabet and grab the new keywords that are presented every time. Finally, if I select the append white space and then add numbers zero to nine. So the bot will start going like digital marketing, white space zero, one, two, three, and grab everything that the search displays to the user in that particular case. I'm just going to go real easy on that and um, select the first option. And then there's another set of options which you need to choose from, which are depth. So what does that mean? It basically means how many times does the bot need to perform uh, this search method, right? So if I'm selecting the depth one, in my case, the bot will create a white space and grab all of these keywords um, from here. If I select the second option, which is depth two, the bot will type out a keyword add a white space, then grab the first option, add another white space and grab all of these results for you. You see, this isn't really complicated at all. So same with depth three, the bot will add in Hindi, which is the first result and add a white space and grab all of these results as well. So I'm just going to go with depth one to keep this video short because the more keywords you're trying to extract, the longer it takes for the bot to complete the job. Finally, you need to type out your keywords. So I'm gonna go with digital marketing and let's say SEO tutorial. Finally, you can select your not notification methods and receive a message from the bot once the job is completed. So you can pick uh, between email notifications, Slack notifications or Telegram notifications, or you can even request a JSON post response in case you're using something like uh, Zapier or Integromat. I'm going to leave all of these blank and I will click the start this bot button. You can see that our job was created and all we have to do now is wait for the bot to complete it. While we're waiting, don't forget to like this video, drop any questions you have into the comment section below, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you would like to see bot and automation content in the future. All right, it took the bot less than one minute to complete the job. Let's click the view data button and um, have a look at our keywords. So you can see that a whole bunch of keywords were extracted 
for both SEO tutorial and digital marketing. And keep in mind that I only picked the first two basic options. So um, still pretty good. 458 keywords are back and now I can um, play around with them, maybe do some clustering, maybe do some keyword grouping. By the way, we have bots for that as well. You can download the file as a CSV, Excel or a JSON um, file by clicking one of these buttons. You can export everything into your Google Sheets using this button here. And of course you can share this very page with one of your colleagues by making this publicly available. Just click that button over there, copy the link by clicking on it and just send it to whoever. Well, this is practically it. Make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel to support us and I'll see you in the next video.